I love getting dressed up and you know, that's typically what you see most of here on the channel. But you know, there are some real life situations where that just isn't practical or advisable. For example, I'm not gonna be outside playing with the dog in a tuxedo. I'm not gonna be working out at the gym in a suit. And I'm not putting on a sport coat and tie just to take out the trash. Let's be real. As Robin and I have eased into country living, you know, certain aspects of my day-to-day -day style have evolved. And those of you who know me here may be surprised to see my real, real life, everyday outfits. I'm Brian Sakawa. This is He Spoke Style, advice and inspiration to help you dress well, develop your personal style, and be more confident. So you know who's not gonna like this video? The guy who left this comment recently. I mean, I guess it's a reasonable question and you know, you can read my answer, but basically what it boils down to is that we all evolve. Style's a journey, you know? And one of the fun things to do, if you happen to have been chronicling your style journey online for over a decade, is to go back in the time machine and see what you thought about things previously. Now I know that years ago, I covered the topic of athleisure on the website. So why don't we take a trip down memory lane and see exactly what it was that I actually said. So here we are all the way back on May 18th, 2015, and two of the choice opinions uh, that I shared in that particular post are the following. I said that, quote, among the more egregious trends of late is the ridiculously named athleisure trend, end quote. Going further and saying that, I would hope that since athleisure has reached something of a fever pitch that it will begin to fade into the annals of fashion misses. But wait, there's more. In a follow-up post a uh, little more than a year later from June 1st, 2016, which was based on an interview that I gave to the Wall Street Journal about athleisure, I said, quote, I understand the reactive nature of the athleisure trend, but I don't find it to be a positive development for men's style, end quote. And then I continued by saying that, quote, athleisure is sending guys a huge cultural mixed message. So are we saying that it's okay to look like a slob now, end quote. So I had some pretty harsh words for athleisure back in the day, and it's actually pretty amusing to go back and read those thoughts. But you know, this was a different time in my style journey, and it was a different time for athleisure. This was the time when dressy sweatpants were the thing. And yeah, it did feel like guys were starting to give up. But athleisure has come a very long way since the dressy sweatpants era. There have been a lot of advancements made with these garments, both practical and aesthetic that have really changed the game in terms of style to the point where even previous non-believers are reconsidering and changing their opinions about it. And one brand that has done an absolutely exceptional job with this is Public Rec, who I am proud to partner with for this video. There are six specific pieces I wanna highlight before we get to the outfit portion of the video, beginning with one of their best sellers, the Public Rec All Day Every Day Pant. Now, these are not sweatpants, but the thing people love about sweatpants is that they're comfortable, right? Not to say that jeans, chinos, or suit pants aren't comfortable, but it's, it's a little different, you know? So Public Rec's mission was to combine the comfort of sweatpants into something that looked as good as a pair of chinos. You know, something elevated that you could wear out, and not look like a slob, but had that soft, stretchy comfort. So enter the all day, every day pant. And I have to tell you that the first time I tried these on, the exact words that came to me were, holy crap, these are ridiculously comfortable. In terms of features, they've got an elastic waistband with an internal drawstring, two front zipper pockets. And what I like about these is that they run down the side. So there's a very clean line down the leg, which gives them kind of a sporty feel. In addition to the front pockets, we've got two generous back pockets as well. And then a faux fly front, which gives them a more elevated look. And, and again, making them a much more stylish alternative to sweatpants. The fit is absolutely fantastic. Uh, they're perfect in the waist. They've got the perfect length. I think the taper is great. And you are able to choose both your waist size and your inseam. So getting a perfect fit is much, much easier. I think these are great travel pants. We'll talk a little bit more about that later in the video, but also great for everyday errands when 
Uh, sweatpants are just too casual. Up next, we have the Go To Henley, and Go To refers to a custom fabric blend of 69% Pima cotton for softness, 23% Tencel for durability, and 8% spandex for stretch. This is your classic Henley. Um, I'm wearing a size medium. I really like the fit. The fabric feels like a performance fabric, but it doesn't look like a performance fabric, which is nice because you, you kind of get the best of both worlds. Comfort and performance without sacrificing style. Next piece is the Elevate Mock Neck Polo. Uh, this is made with a fabric they call Pro TX2. I think that's how you say it. Um, and it's a fabric that is antibacterial, antimicrobial, anti-mold, anti-mildew, and anti-odor protection. It feels really soft, but it's working really hard for you. Again, great fit, size medium for me. Uh, I like that it has that performance feel, but that it's not tight because, you know, not everyone has a perfect body. Next up is the Brave the Elements shell. This is honestly one of my favorite casual sporty jackets. It's completely waterproof, uses a C6 water repellent coating, so you've got full protection from water and wind. Two front zipper pockets, a hidden chest zipper pocket inside, bonded seams, and a collapsible hood. Super awesome fit. I love the design. I like that it's sporty, but not trendy. Almost has kind of a timelessness to it. Awesome springtime jacket. Great for that upcoming seasonal transition period. Next item is the Waffle Knit Hoodie. It's your classic hoodie. Uh, the Waffle Knit fabric does have thermal properties, so it, it helps keep your body heat in without adding any extra bulk. It's got a great fit. It's athletic, but relaxed. I like the texture of it. And you'll notice that it does not have that usual front pocket. Uh, which gives it a bit of a cleaner look. Last piece to show you is the Public Rec Workday Pant 2.0. More classic five pocket style compared to the all day everyday pant. Also the fabric, which is water and wind resistant, is a little bit lighter. It's got belt loops, a front zipper fly, and a hidden back zipper pocket. Honestly, I wasn't prepared to like this one. It's a different color than I usually wear, but after wearing it some, I have to say, that it's not half bad. Outfits are up next, but I do want to let you know that new Public Rec customers can save 10% off by using code BRIAN10. I have links down below in the description to all the pieces featured, so click there, check them out, and try it out for yourself. Now let's take a look at five of my real life casual outfits. Here we go with look number one. I've got the waffle knit hoodie paired with the all day everyday pants. Over that, I am layering a gray tweed herringbone sport coat, white leather sneakers, and the Speedy on the wrist. This is one of my go-to airport outfits. I know in the past I've argued for a more sartorial approach to air travel, but when it comes to long haul overseas flights, especially those that might include a flat lay seat, there is something to be said for maximum comfort. I've always loved combining sporty pieces with more tailored clothing, and this is a really great illustration of exactly how I like to do that. Look number two, similar idea with mostly black, sportier approach. I've got the Henley paired with the all day everyday pant, and over that, the Brave the Elements shell. Black baseball cap, same white sneakers, same watch, but adding a pair of chunky black sunglasses. This is what I call my Hollywood incognito look. I don't know, when, when I wear this, I feel like a movie star who doesn't want to be recognized. It's definitely sporty, and because it features so much black, it is quite statement making. Next, look number three, super classic casual combo. I've got the gray Henley paired with a pair of khaki, all day, everyday pants, Brave the Element shell, white sneakers, and Speedy once again. Now, not to steer the subject away from style, but, but this will make sense. So I have been reading Tiago Forte's second brain book, highly recommended by the way, thanks Ian. And there's a part of the book where he shows this, this famous series of 11 illustrations by Pablo Picasso. The first one is a detailed drawing of a bull. And with each successive sketch, he, he keeps distilling the form of the bull down to its most basic elements. And the final sketch, which is really just a couple of lines, is probably the most pleasing of the entire series. I mention that not because I think this look is Picasso-esque, but rather to illustrate that it is very basic and there is something pleasing aesthetically when you break style down into its most basic form. And that's why I always say, fill your closet with great basics, you can never go wrong. Much more casual approach with look number four. Uh, we've got the Elevate mock neck polo paired with the same khaki 
all day everyday pants, over that an olive green work shirt, club masters, white sneakers, and speedy. One little style tip to point out here, and it's kind of a good rule of thumb to have in, in mind when you're putting any outfit together, has to do with color tones. Now, there are exceptions, but in general, you want to think about color in three different tiers. You want a lighter color, you want a darker color, and you want something in the middle. And you can see that that plays out here in order with the pants, mock polo, and work shirt. Look number five, simple. Uh, we've got the waffle knit hoodie paired with the Workday Pant 2.0. Jacques-Marie Maj sunglasses, Common Project sneakers, and on the wrist, my Apple Watch. That's right, I have an Apple Watch, and uh, if you want the story on that, let me know in the comments. But back to the look. Now, I did say that I was a little surprised by this one, but pleasantly surprised. I don't want to make a huge deal out of this, but this particular color for pants was kind of a stretch for me, but I like it and I think it's a really nice dose of contrast when you take a look at the outfit as a whole. Now, whenever I post a video about my casual style, I always get comments and questions about how one should dress casually as an adult. And it just so happens that I have put all of my thoughts about that into that video right over there. So click there to find out exactly what I think and how to pull it off. And finally, want to thank Public Rec for sponsoring this video. And reminder that new Public Rec customers can save 10% by using promo code BRIAN10.